So these two verbs have basically the same meaning, but they're pronounced differently. Do you happen to know how one of these could be pronounced? The top left is deru. The bottom right is dasu. Perfect. Yep. So we're going to be seeing the kanji deru. Um, so awesome that you know that. Here's our a new deru. word. Can you read it for me? Shinobi komu. Hi. So komu is a word that we kind of know already. It kind of means to go into something. Shinobi, you may have heard this before in Naruto, meaning like ninja or something. Shinobi komu means to sneak into something. To sneak up into something. Sneak. Shinobi komu. Can you read the sentence for me? Wakimachi kara deru. Hey, can you read this part one more time? Machi? It's actually michi. Is it michi? Hai. Michi. Hai. Hai. What does this mean? Michi kara deru. Michi kara deru. <clears throat> the side street. From the side street, I emerges. Yes. Or whoever it is. Yes, I emerged from the side street. Perfect. Um, what does this mean? Can you read it for me? Wakimichi ni shinobi komu. I I sneak into the side street. Perfect. Hi. Our next word is haigo, which is made up for the kanji for back and behind. And haigo, I mean, like this is like back, like your spine, but haigo is like back, like behind you. Haigo, like your back. Haigo. Um, so what does this can you read this for me yes um, wakimichi kara dette dorobo no haigo ni shinobi komu what does this mean uh, appearing from the side street uh, behind the thief uh, sneaking behind a thief. Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, basically, I appear out from a side street and I sneak up behind, up to behind the thief. I don't know how to say this English. Sneaking up to the thief <laughs> from his back. Sneaking on the thief. Sneaking on him. <laughs> Hunting him. So, so. Ouching. Pouncing. Yep. Uh, our next word is majiru. This is to be mixed in so majiru is to mix something this is to be mixed in majiru and it is a do verb majiru hi can you read this for me to be to hi. be right to be mixed in right yes so um kura ga kurai kurai kura right kura gari kura gari, kura gari ni majireru what does this mean to to merge with the shadow. Perfect. To hide yourself into the shadow. Yeah. Do you remember what subayai meant? Subayai. Subaku? Subaku? Yeah. Subayai? Subaku. Swiftly? Right. Swiftly? It is swiftly. Yep. So subayai, the adjective, turns into subayaku, the adverb, and they both mean swiftly. Nice. Now let's go read our sentence from the book. Ore wa... Um, magirete wakimichi kara deru to chisan no haigo ni tsubayaku shinobi yota. Hi, uh, I wrote shinobi kobu, which is the creep into uh, shinobi yoru comes from yoru to um, get closer. So, this is the creep up to they're, they're both words, but I Selected the wrong word for our book. <laughs> um, uh, do you know what this toll is telling us? Toll. Uh, are we using it as an an? It is and a immediately kind of afterward. Exactly. Hi. So, what does this Hi. mean? So, ore wa kurai kuraiyami ni magirete. What's what's magirete again? Yeah, that's to be um mixed in with. To, to... Mixed in with. Magirete. So I 
I merge I merge with the shadow. Um, And right there, and that tit. and and the and and I appear from the from the side street. Um up on behind the, the old man, I swiftly appear. Uh, shinobi ko yoru. Mm. I swiftly um I swiftly sneak up on him. Perfect. Hi. Nice. So our next word is chukomu. And this is to stick something into something. Stick into something. Tukomu. So komu is the into, and the t is like to poke. And together I... means to stick into. Uh, can you read the sentence for me? Hey, oh, poketo needs sumumu. Uh, it's supposed to be tukomu. I don't know how I wrote that. Tukumumu. <laughs> Sukomu. Hi. Oh, to, to stick in. Yes. To stab. Yes. What does this mean? Uh, tail, tail. I used my hand to uh, put into the pocket. I yes. put into the put the hand into the pocket. Exactly. I stick my hand in a pocket. Do you know what hane means? Hane. Feathers? Yes, it can mean feathers or wings, depending on just what you want to do. Um, this kanji doesn't particularly it just sometimes you'll see it with one sometimes you'll see it with both um but they they can both mean um feather or bird um the second kanji i don't root. recognize it the uh, root okay height i think if it do like ne by itself it pops up right there yeah yeah, yeah. that's a root so you can use this for like tree uh, roots for example Hi. Uh, hi. Can you read this for me? Hane no yoni sukomu. What do you think this means? Meaning, um, yoni is to be like, to be yes. like, like a root, uh, like like a feathers. Um, I stick my hand. I um to go in like a feathers. Yeah. To stab in like a feathers. Exactly. Which is a kind of weird thing to say. <laughs> light like a feather. Yes. Light like a feather is how we'd say that in English. He's, it's thick in basically, like a he's doing it very, very... Um, you can barely feel feel the, the motion that he did. Exactly. Um, do you happen to know this kanji? We've seen it a couple of times. It's mean the body... Referring to one physical body. So, me, something me? Hi, it is me. Perfect. Me. Uh, I just decided to double check. But in general, when we see both these kanji, this is specifically referring to a feather. I mean, you just see this one that tends to refer to the wing. I see. A feather. Yes. Um, how do you put this in mass form? Let's see. So, this is an Godon. Ooh, verb. So, suko, 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 no, this is masu, masu. So, sukomimasu. Yep, exactly. Sukomimasu. Perfect. Um, can you read this word for me? Uh, na nakami? Yep, nakami. Nakami means contents. Nakami, inside. Or the content of something. Yes. Hi. So here's an example of a sentence with nakami in it. Can you read it for me? Pocket no nakami wa doka da. What does this mean? Inside the pocket, the content of the pocket uh, is coins. Are yeah, coins. exactly. Are coins. Perfect. Hi. Our next word is tsukamu. Tsukamu means to grab or to grab. grasp. Tsukamu. Grasp. Um, what particle do you think we should have for tsukamu to grasp the contents? To grasp the content. Nakamiyo. Yep. yep. Nakamiyo tsukamu. Perfect. Um, this word right here is hanazu. Hanasu. This is to separate. Right. Separate from. Um, what do you think the te form is of tsukam tsukamu? Hanash. Oh no no no. Tsukamu. 
c'est comme eux. So it's Sukonde. Yep, Sukonde. Sukonde. Hi. And what particle do you think to separate from the um, contents? To so separate the contents? Nakami o yep. hanasu. Oh, nice. Yeah, I want to see if you ever get tricked by the knee. <laughs> um, do you happen to know this kanji? This is kanji for resting. So it's hmm. um, yasumi. No? no? Body or resting? It's body, yasumi. Body. Then it's karada. Hi, it is karada. So the difference between resting and body is this part right here. This one line. I so. see. Uh, I got tricked there. Super tricky. Okay. Karada. Correct. Um, karada. How would you say to separate from a body in Japanese? From a body? Yeah. Karada o hanasu. Perfect. So right here is a sound effect, which is sa, and it means um quickly. Hi. What is missing from sa? Sato. Yep, sato. Quickly. Um. So this is karada o sato hanasu. What do you think this means? Quickly um separate from yep. the body. Perfect. And our next sound effect is su. Su is softly, so sutto. Sutto. Hi. Now you get to go read sutto. our um, sentence from the book. Hi. Te o hane no yo ni sutto. Rope no pocketo ni sukomi. Naka mio sukan de sato karada o hanasu. Hi. Sato sutto. Okay, softly. So, um, the verb is sukomi. Sukomi. Sukomi is to put in. Hi. To See, stab. the topic is so, I. I, I, I put I place my hand into the rope. Rope is like a coat, right? Yes, a rope. A rope. Hi. So I, I softly, uh, I I place my hand into the pocket of the rope, soft like a feather. Perfect. And. Yep. Sukande is um to 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 grab okay yep. so and i grab the the content and then swiftly i remove i i, I separate from the person or from the yes, body exactly perfect nice so as you can see um the this right here theoretically these could be switched you could have uh skande nakami o uh to I was like, tuka, tukaki. <laughs> Sounds Hi. wrong. Tukami. Um, And it would still make sense. But they decided it was more important to have these two linked than these two. Because in general, in Japanese, you don't like having the exact same. We don't like the repeat ands. Specifically, we don't like to the repeat these ands. So a lot of times right. you'll see both of them in sentences. Um, and they decided that it was more important to link these two slightly strongly together, which is Right, since I grabbed the contents, I ditched out of there. Versus since I, I stuck my hand in the pocket, I grabbed the contents. So they decided it was more important to have these slightly stronger linked. But I said the link right here is very weak. So this is a weak link. But there is a link. This one right here is just no specific link specified. Hi. Okay. Weak link. So here's umai. Umai means... um. Can also show up as Jozu, which means to be good at. But umai means um to go well. That's what I'm gonna say. It is to go well. To How go are you well. making it into an adverb? This is an adverb, so it's umaku. Yes, umaku. So a lot of times you'll hear in Japanese umakuita, which means it went well. Umakuita. Quick question. Yes. 
how come I hear the word umai when they say something is tasty? That has slightly different kanji, I think. I think this is umai. Yeah, I think that's umai. Or that one, oishi umai. So yeah, I would have um different kanji for oh, it. Oh, okay. So it's completely different words. Yes. Just happen to look the same. Uh, Can you read the sentence for me? Yosh. Umaku ita. Meaning it went well. Yes, it went well. Yep. Hi. Uh, sorry. Okay, kanji check. Um, we didn't have a lot of new kanji this time. Okay. How does this guy read? Karada. Perfect. Okay, now we're in our next paragraph. Do you have any idea what so mo might mean? So mo, like that. So I yes. I think like that to think that way. Yes, thinking to think that. Yep, that to is perceive that so hi. Um. So I looked at umai a little bit longer while we we're talking, and theoretically it could have that kanji, but umai is interesting in that it's in the same dictionary. You don't normally have adjectives with kanji. But all of these are under the same um, entry. So this right here is what I would imagine with umai, which is taste is beautiful. <laughs> Versus I, I feel like um, this version would not show up as often for meaning yummy. But in general, umai is not going to have kanji. So, right. so uh, according to context, we know whether they talk about something tasty or yes. something went well. 100%. Yep. Context. Okay, so we just said Josh Makita. Yes, it went well. And what happened? Um, so no toki wa so motte ta. Uh, at that time, so motte ta. Uh, I was thinking that. Yes. It was. Yeah. So I had. It's kind of like saying I had thought that at the time, which was yes, it went well. So this kind of insinuates. It didn't actually go well. Sono toki wa so motteita. They're specifically so specifying that I had thought this at that time, but it's not Aye. true, is the insinuation of it. So the so here is being used as a way of quoting the previous yes. um the previous thing. Whenever you see so, um I believe one hundred percent, but I'm gonna write ninety nine percent so that um, I don't get like wrong. Um, it's almost always going to be referring to the something in the previous sentence, which right here I would say is the full sentence. But sometimes it could be like the topic of the se previous sentence or things like that. Same with so this ne, which is something you hear a lot in Japanese. Literally, a lot of times this will be translated as "that's right," but it's literally just "you said yes." Yeah, right. You said yeah. So this ne. They'll be like, ah, oh, I'm gonna go Ah, so this man. And just saying that that you said, it's a it did happen. Mm. Yep. <laughs> so it's just a way to say that. But yeah, it's yes. it's almost always referring to pre the last sentence. If you see ko, ko motteita, most likely the next sentence is going to have the yosh umakuita. So that's just I... a little interesting quote. Um. Sometimes it will be over there, but in general, I've seen that um, pattern. Uh, do you happen to know this kanji? To go forward, susumu. Yes. Yep, susumu. Perfect. So what particle would go here for saying um, the gramps goes forward? Gram go forward. Jisan ga tsusunde iku. Yep, or wa. God's a little bit dramatic wow. here, but God works. Sorry, I always, <laughs> I always go You're for the God. I forgot. Individual. Individual. <laughs> um, right. Why is the Iku in here? Um, so the Jisan, he is advancing away from the... Whoever is talking. Whoever is saying, right, the speaker. Yes. Um, our next word is Kizuku. Do you happen to know what Kizuku means? Kizuku... Tsuku is like an attached to something, right? Ki mm. is to a uh, sensation. Yes. To to awaken, to feel something, to notice. Yes, it means to notice. Nice. Yes. Uh, and what's this kanji? Ki. 
Perfect. Um, can you read this word for me? This is nani nanika. Yep. Nanika. Do you have to know what nanika means? Meaning uh something. Perfect, something. Nice. So what does ore wa nanika ni kizuku? What does that mean? Ore wa nanika ni kizuku. I notice something. Perfect. Yep. So the thing you notice gets attached with me. So you can think about that's it, what you're attaching your consciousness to. Hi. Your key, your awareness. Hi. Your key, your awareness. Do you know what nanimo means? Nanimo is anything. Yes, it is anything. It has a second possible meaning. You know what that is? Nothing. Yep, nothing. Nothing and anything. Perfect. Um, what's the nai form of kizuku? Kizuku nai. Kizunakata. No, I'm wrong. Um, you're you're on the form. right you're on the right track. Um, you just did it in past tense form, so you do have that. Ah. Kizuka nai would be to not notice. Kizuka nai. Kizuka nai. Kata is Hai. I did not notice. You did the extra. Kizuka nai. Conjugation on there. Yes, the ah, the ah sound is for negative Hi. Uh, conjugation. Yes. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Ore wa nani mo kitsuku. Uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't feel anything. Let's look at the verb form. Hmm. I, um, sorry, what about the verb form? So this is in present tense. Um, it, it's it's in, in a, a positive sense. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's in positive sense. So, I I feel um, I feel something rather, but basically, isn't that I I notice everything. Ore wa nanimo kizuku mean I notice everything. So you're probably not going to see this sentence. It's kind of a weird sentence to say I notice everything unless you're like some kind of godlike creature, but. That it's really the know whether or not nani mo is meaning anything or nothing is going to depend on the final verb of the sentence. So anything here actually mean everything. Yes. Oh, man. Okay. I notice anything. Uh, so next, sono mama. So mama, so mama. is a weird, kind of weird word that basically means the previous state continues so and sono is just it's like saying that previous state continues so what things that could be so you don't need to have sono mama you could have like a relative clause here like aruku mama so while walking continues basically it just means whatever state that occurs before the mama that state has not changed but you'll hear sono mama a lot in um, Japanese being like, as long as this continues to happen, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Hi. So can you read the sentence for me? This is ore wa nani mo tsukizukanai. Meaning I, I didn't feel anything. Yeah, I didn't notice nothing. Perfect. I didn't notice, yes. And can you read this sentence? Ore wa tsono mama tsusunde iku. I, um, in that way, continue to go forward. Perfect. Yep. I just continue that state continuing forward. Thanks. Okay. So our next thing is zu. Zu is pretty easy. You know, like how we just saw um, a nai for things. All you do is drop that nai and you add zu. And that's the zoo form. So, for example, kesu to make something disappear is ke sa nai. You just drop the nai and you get kesasu, kesasu. Um, there is one exception to this, which is um pseudoverbs, but that will pop up if we ever see a pseudoverb in the future. It's, who knows how long that would stick in your brain if you're not using it. Um, but it means without doing it. So without doing this, A, this right here, B, occurs. Can you do me a favor and read this um, sentence for me? Yes. Um, 
消さずに、まあ、同席を盗んだ。はい。This means,、um, means without disappearing myself all the way, basically, losing myself all the way, I steal the magical stone. So. I want you to make the sentence without the old man noticing he walks by. So you have Tori Sugiru from a long time ago, which is to walk by. Nani mo, anything, nothing. Kizuku to notice. And Ji san, the old man. Let's see. How do you think you would say this? It would be Ji san wa nani mo. Do I need a ni particle? Uh, not in this context.、Uh, nani mo. Is an exception to the knee for Kizuku.、Uh, I forgot to point、yeah. that out when we're doing that. So this would be Nani mo suzu kanai,、oh, but in this case it would be Nani mo suzu kazu ni. Hi. Tori sukiru. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So the old man, without noticing anything, walks right by. So he、uh, goes by. So yeah, nani mo is the exception to the kizaku. That's why I had nani ka and the other ones there. So you would know that the official particle is ni. But for whatever reason, nani mo is an exception to that. Nani mo never takes a particle, weirdly enough. So like you'd say, nani mo kangairu means I'm not thinking anything. But you don't attach o or to for that as well. So nani mo just is like, no particles for me. Those are gross. Hi. Keep away. Okay, so let's go read our sentence. What does it say? Ji san wa nani mo tizukazu. Sono mama susunde iku. So the ji san, without, no, without noticing anything, Uh, in that way, continue to walk away from the speaker.、Yes. So he continued to walk in this oblivious state of not knowing,、uh, not noticing. Yes, perfect. So our next word is saki. There's a nice little pause in here. In case you're wondering, this is the same kanji as saki, in case you happen to know that word. Exact same kanji.、Right. Um, but this word here is saki with a pause in it. This is used specifically for referring to, to something that happened a couple of seconds ago. So just say saki, and you just say that on its own. That just means just a minute ago. But you can also attach it to things to be like saki no oji san would be the old man I saw a second ago. So it's a way to just refer to something that just happened pretty recently. So it's like a time word、um, phrase. It works.、Uh... It, it sounds like it works similar to to, except that in, in, I mean, in terms of meaning, it's, it's kind of like in, immediately something happened and now this happened. Not、right? really. I would say it's very different than to.、Um, this is a way to describe things. And it's not really about when events occurred. So when I say just a minute ago, I don't mean it literally happened just a minute ago. I mean it like how that phrase means in English. Which is a generic time phrase referring to something that did not happen a long time ago.、Um, so, this could happen an hour ago. No, that, you, you could definitely use sake to refer to something that happened a day ago, even.、Um, but it needs to be、um, interpreted as pretty close to the current time.、Um, but, so, normally it'd be within the hour, but theoretically you could use it for longer periods of time. So, it could be one second. Or it could be, like I said, like an hour. The exact time doesn't matter as long as it's the last kind of like thought. So if I say Saki no Jisan, that is the last old man I talked to. So that could have been, like I said, a couple hours ago. As long as we like whoever I'm talking to understands I have talked to no other men, old men. <laughs> it's kind of like the word previously, the previous、yeah. Saki no.、Um, Um, our next word is suberi komu, which we saw suberu way back, I think, in our first lesson. Do you remember what that word meant? 
Was to go in Subaru. I forgot. Subaru is to slip. And Subaru komu is oh, to yes. slip into. And this is used just like the word in English, like to sneak into something. So not like, I'm falling down and I fell into something. Uh, That's not what that's insinuating. This is like the English word to slip into, like the sneak your way like a ninja. Um, And uh, right now it I is see. our halfway point. Yes. So I'll see you in two seconds.